And May is Mental Health Awareness Month. This morning, we're recognizing a Utah man who stopped someone suffering with their own mental health from jumping off an I-15 overpass. ABC 4's Sarah Murphy met with him to see how saving a life actually changed his own. It's incredible. Sarah? That's right, an unthinkable experience still affecting his life today. Now, over a year later, he says he's using his experience to change other lives as well. It's good for Utah. I actually was thinking, I cannot let this happen. My kids are going to watch this happen. They're never going to forget this. What was a regular drive home for Joe Tuiaana? A beautiful, terrible, amazing experience. Led to a road that changed his life. In January 2022, Joe and his daughters were driving to a basketball game in Lehigh when they saw a man standing on a freeway overpass on I-15. He was about to jump off into oncoming traffic. Joe immediately got out of the car. I was overwhelmed with fear and I said a quick little prayer. The only thing that I could think of to say was, I love you, bro. And I grabbed him by the hoodie and the belt and we slid down this concrete embankment and just sat on the sidewalk and I just kind of held him like he was one of my kids. A life-changing moment led to a friendship. Now he's like my little brother. I check in with him every other week or so now, and I just text him, I love you, bro. Four words that over a year later stuck with him. Joe created the I Love You Bro Project, a platform focused on talking about men's mental health. For whatever reason, there's a huge stigma around men's mental health. I'll be the face of that guy who cries all the time, you know? I'll that's me. Joe says the project helps men get connected with mental health professionals. It's a road, he says, that might seem long, but it's worth it. It shouldn't have to get to the point where it's on an overpass. If it takes an I Love You Sis project, if it takes an I Love You Auntie project, I'll make a project for everybody. Clearly lots of emotions there. Joe says after that experience, he just wants to help. So for more information on the I Love You Bro Project website, you can visit our website, abc4.com.